You know, honestly, it's like this angle, it by far looks the best. I mean, just look at it, it's just this big menacing moon. Oh man, it's great. If you guys didn't see that episode, make sure to go check it out. It'll be a card up in the top right. But guys, welcome back to Lionheart. It's your host here, Super Turtle. And today we're doing stuff and things underneath the moon. Now there was a big issue that I don't think I showed last episode. I don't know, last time I recorded that episode, it was at like 2 a.m. and then I edited it at... Ed, it Whoa, hold up. Ed, ed did, did it <laughs> at like <clears throat> really late. And I never showed that part. Uh, his, his front teeth kind of, or his top teeth kind of stick out a little bit too far. Um, yeah, like really far. <laughs> so it's like, hey, how's it going? That's how I think he talks. But anyways, uh, we have other progress to show you. Um, we're actually gonna go into the nether, this spooky, spooky nether. And the reason why we're going here is because our buddy Scoozy has been doing such a good job on this place. He's almost as crazy as I was taking on that moon. Except he didn't decide to do it all in one day. Like I did. And wanted to die afterward. <laughs> he's been, uh, he's a lot smarter and, and took his time doing this. Um, which I recommend if you have a big project, uh, don't try to do it in one sitting. Um, I believe we're over here. Uh, yeah, we're over here. So he's making these cool glass spheres. And uh, I know the pain of making circles. I think of anyone else on the server, I ha I know the pain of making circles that big. Um, so yeah, that's how we're doing it. So our base is up here and to the left, just so you guys know when you're when you're watching someone, one of the other Lionheart members' videos, you're like, hey, Turtle's up to the left there. I know where he is. So you should be cool like that. Oh uh, yeah, and then you take a rat a tidy. This is a just we're just looking at all these rails. It's pretty cool. And then we go super speedy. Pew. Which is faster than ice. I didn't know that until until just now. Just kidding, I knew that. That's why I made it. But I wanna I wanna keep you guys in the video. Like I don't wanna cut because this part is gonna be cool. I've done a lot, I've done a bit of work off camera to the base. Uh, I've kind of been in a building mood, kinda kinda been kinda been building stuff, uh, clearing stuff out. Pretty cool, huh? Oh yeah. Yep. Actually, we have to move this pretty soon because boom! <clears throat> it is, it's crazy. It's crazy awesome. I didn't even let you guys see it all that much, but check it out. Fly. Yep, this is our storage room, and you guys know me. I always have to have an epic storage room. We've also got these cool pillars of wood that uh, will look like they support things, and we've also got this cool bed that we're sleeping in. It's very, very cool. Ike's online. Whoa, I didn't know that could happen. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and throw the furnace generator up here. Not furnace generator, why did I just say that? We're gonna throw the, f the furnace smelter area over here. We're going to have a walkway over here so the furnace stuff will be on this side and on this side. And, because I wanna be able to just like sprint out here and take off and say hello to my zombie friends. Hi, how are you doing? I didn't even know you were here. Ouch. You have set me on fire. Is there another friend over here somewhere? Oh, you're on fire too. You will not set me on fire this time. All right. So I do like the feeling of having multiple levels in a, in a base, if that makes sense. Um, so if like here is like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think how to explain this. So we have floor one. And we have floor two. And then we have floor 1.8. If that makes sense. And then we have floor 1.5. And I just like having all these different levels. I feel like it's almost like it breaks up the build, but it it doesn't do it with a wall. It like, it like separates the rooms out. Cause you know, hey, because we just changed elevation, this is a different spot. Uh, and that's really what I like about elevations is it's able to communicate, hey, you're in a different type of room, but you didn't have to see any ugly walls in the way. And Unless you're Vitigarvi and you can make walls look amazing, which by the go check, by the way, go check out his channel. It's pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a little bit more building here. I'd like to do a time lapse. You guys seem to really like the time lapse. So in three, two, uh, what comes after two?
Oh yeah. How'd you guys like that time lapse? Let me know down in the comment section. Let me know if it was okay, if it was good, if it was bad, if it was stupid, if it was amaze balls. Let me know. I gotta know. But anyways, guys, check it out. It looks freaking good. Um, this is the second take I'm having to do of this. I'm being honest. I forgot to unmute my microphone after the time lapse. I feel stupid. Um, <laughs> so let's go over what what I did in that time lapse. So. What we ended up doing is, that looked weird for a second, I couldn't quite figure it out, but there's a stair there. Um, we basically built a ceiling underneath our roof. And the reason we did that is because this will give us a little bit, like you'll walk outside and be like, oh wow, it, it's gonna feel different from when you walk in. And that's, the, that's what we're going for with this. So you have this giant entryway, which I love, by the way. I love it when you enter a building and you're just like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, and that's what this gives you, right? Because we're gonna go ahead and copy these shulker boxes over here. I need to get a few more. And if you're wondering what the colors mean, they mean nothing, uh, except for redstone, obviously. Uh, but we're gonna have shulker boxes there, and that's all we're gonna have for shulker boxes, pretty much. And then um, back behind here, we're gonna put all the super smelter stuff in, and I want there to be a doorway lined up perfectly with this, so we can just head out this way. Now, we might actually end up going back a few more blocks, um, I think we probably will probably like three or four more that way that way it gives this area a bit more room and Then over on this side over here Where the super smelter used to be we're gonna go ahead and tear this out And this is going to be the new wall like this will be the furthest point that way We might actually put a door here going out to uh, This part over here and then maybe have like a little garden which would be pretty cool I think uh, maybe a garden area or like a lounge area kind of like this um, and then here right here I think we're gonna have a staircase that goes down and we're gonna have a, a base that's under the water in this area. Uh, it'll be, if you guys have ever seen Jaws, ever seen Jaws 3, uh, where they kind of go under the water in SeaWorld, uh, that's the kind of theme we're going for with the base. And I wanna build, finish this first before we start that, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just map out where it's going to, like the entrance to it's gonna be, that way we can get a, like, a feel for where everything else is going to be built under there. And, you know, honestly, I don't have feather falling on these boots, which is why I died in the time lapse. So why don't we go ahead and we're going to try... Oh, black smoke joined. Hey! We're going to try to get enough levels at the gold farm. And we're going to go ahead and enchant some boots and see if we can uh, get some feather falling, finally. Guys, I found Hap. He's inside the mob farm. And I don't think this is a good idea. Nope, they're after me too. Oh no. Hap, what have you done? Let's see if he can see me. <laughs> Act! Act! <laughs> Alright, gotta go get my stuff. Alright, guys, so we have 30 levels. So we're gonna go ahead and make a pair of boots that should be halfway decent. And for the following, dang it, we didn't get any. Man, oh well, but guys, that is gonna be it for me today. If you guys did hit, if you guys, oh, so hold up. I can't do my outro. I'm so shaken up. This is the third time, third video clip that I forgot to unmute myself for and I don't even know why I was muted in the first place. But anyways, guys, it's been Super Turtle and thanks for checking out the episode. If you did like it, please make sure to like button, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle and make sure to hit that notification button because you're cool. And I'll see you later, peace out, bye-bye. That's, that's the outro we're going with. Nah, yeah. Bye.